How to get on top 100 in Minion Simulator? Well, this is my strategy guide on how you can try to get on the top 100. As you can see, I have already got some really good pets here. I have been playing the game for 3 weeks at the moment. And at uh, right now, I am number 20 in the game. Which uh, I think is a decent good place for for not using too much ro robux as you can see all of the huge i have i have got during hatching and if you want to know how to get these one during hatching watch my video about how to get secret and huge pets and i oh, reveal all my secrets there and you can also see i have two of the best pets in the game already and a lot of these dark matter ghosts and they're helping tremendously well there is two different ways you can get in the in the top 100 right so one way is better now in the beginning of the game because this is still a very young game but later on the other strategy is the one that you absolutely need to do to understand also how this is working you need to understand how the power leaderboard is working there is several other leaderboards in the game like time leaderboard hard to get when you are a new player uh, game leaderboard not that hard to get when you're a new player is absolutely possible to do that and you also have like um, the gold leaderboard which is also possible to do as a quite new player but the one we're going to talk today about is the power leaderboard well the power leaderboard um, the total power that is here is not the power of your mounted team right i have 19 mountain pets the maximum you can get is 21, so I by uh, collecting a little bit more of these pets over here, I can just show you shortly. I, if I get like 500 and then catch even more, I will maybe manage to get up to 21 slots for that. Uh, the other extra slots I have is from um, the game passes where I have the one uh, extra equip 8 minion and equip 60 minion. To understand which game passes you should invest in, look in my video for game passes and you will get, you should be able to select yourself. But for this one, for it to be in a pole leaderboard, you actually don't in a way need to have a lot of mounted pets. But a lot of mounted pets will increase your power and it will go to the first point that I'm really soon going to come to. But how the point in the leaderboard is, it is not the, the power for the mounted pets, it's the power of all the minions that you have in your inventory. I say pets all the time, I'm so used to say pets, but it is minions, so all these different minions, that is the total power that you're going to have. So you see, I. I have um, 130 uh, open slots and still on, on the twen top 20 so I could go to an egg and just hatch a lot of these let's say yeah we can we can fill up with a lot of vampires so I could get like um, 150 more b billion on that but it would not get me up any slots and there are no point of doing that but the point uh, to get on the leaderboard it is the total amount of pets that you have in here and if you look on mine how it is now what i do is here that you see i'm making a lot of dark matter and even though with these vampires i also make a lot of dark matter vampires so i have some kind of strategy for why i'm making so many dark matter, matter vampires uh, so yeah so that is a it's a really really good point um but the very most first thing uh, important to do well in games like this is the farming team that you have, right? So you need to have a strong as good farming team as possible. So strength is one thing. The second thing is to have the correct enchants on them. For instance, that for the future updates is going to be fire gems that I'm going to have. And if you're going to see here, I don't have the mountain right now because in Easter event, uh, it doesn't help to have fire gem uh, a chance on, on uh, minions uh, like this one that has five gen five so when I, d I go for taking a lot of fire gems I will put on uh, as many fire gem five pads as possible in the future the maximum that you can have is uh, if all of the minions that you have have fire gem five so for actually farming these big chests and so on it's not the best to have the strongest team but you have to have the most the best team with fire gem and chance and so on but, but it's a combination by strength and fire gem so number one is to have as a strong um, minion farming team as possible I have made videos on this already and I will make more free videos in the future how to do make good farming teams and how which enchant you're gonna have but look at my video about enchanting to to try to understand how you can build that good farming team
The the second uh, thing, um, as I say, there's two ways to do this. In the beginning, it's just about building a lot of things and fill up your inventory like I do here. So fill your inventory with as many dark matter pets as you can. Later in the future when I have uh, full inventory with dark matter pets, that is when I'm gonna start earning a lot of gold in the, in, in the game. I am not selling all of my good pets. I see many people that get, oh I get a Jackson Shale dark matter and they go and sell that for many millions. Well, I sorry to say that if you go do that, you put yourself back in the game. Yes, you have a lot of gold, but you have just sold one of your farming team. So never ever sell any of your pets in the farming team that you're gonna have. Even like a pets like this one here that has five gem five, I will never sell that. I will keep that because I need it when I take the fire gems and all of the huge pets. I need them to uh, to also be a strong pets. But I also need all my huge pets to get as much power as possible because a huge pets gets as much power as uh, the best pet you have. So each of the huge give me. 72 billion in power because of this good pet here. If I was selling both of my Jack's Shela, I will it, all my huge would then be 50 billion in power. They will not beat 572 anymore. So that is quite important as well to understand that. So that is for now in the game. Later on in the game, when this game gets older, timing is going to be the most important. It is still a little bit important now as well. Every time with this game, every week actually, this game update, you will get new and stronger minions, right? This is the strongest minion you have right now, but in the future, then the next update coming on a Friday, you will get stronger minions. So, the first two, three days of the, after that update, if you manage to get a lot of the strong minions from there, you can just start the whole thing with just hatching a lot. And you get a lot of those power power pads there. You can actually climb up quite fast on the leaderboard. And if you don't sell those good pads, you will stay up there as well, right? So timing is a really good clue. And then we are getting to point three. So to get the timing correctly, you need to do preparations, right? Right now we are in a Halloween event where I'm trying to get a lot of Halloween coin, find a way to earn 280 million per chest that are breaking. But what I really need to do is that I go to uh, Anim now the last days of the Halloween event. I'm still gonna farm these coins because I want to get more huge pets. And it's way more important for me to get huge pets than getting get Jack, uh, more uh, Jackson skin. The reason for that is because when a new update comes, you get a new pet that is stronger than Jackson Shela, okay? And that Jackson Shela will not never get any stronger. It will stay on 72 billion. So let's say the next best one is 90 billion. So, but all my huge ones will convert for that. So in the future, when this game is a year uh, old or something like that, those people who's going to be on the leaderboard, they can have like, yeah, they they can have 900 huge. They're gonna have 900 huge uh, minions in, in their inventory and just one power pad. And that is what the leaderboard is gonna be in the future. And also further in the future, they're gonna start to try to have golden and rainbow huge because they are giving more bonus. A normal scale uh, uh, huge here in this game give 100% bonus. I would guess a golden give 150% uh, bonus or 125 maybe. And a uh, rainbow I guess will give 175% bonus. So. Something like that, we will find out those bonus later on. So timing is really important. So go um, start already now, if or two, three days before the next up is coming. Start farming the, uh, the the games that you really need to have. At the moment, this is this fire game that we have here. You can see fire gem and how many have been fire taking that one. And I will just keep on farming them now at the same time as I take the event games. I guess with, it's going to come in the same situation around Christmas. I will guess there will be some special Christmas event and you're gonna use that those events like Halloween events Christmas events and Easter events and so on they are really good for for getting better in there because it was so much easier to get these um, these uh, candies here than to getting the fire gems and it you can build really fast up in the game with these events so th that's the one thing and another thing that you also can do re right before a new event starts you can sell out 
uh, like smaller trash pads like these ones here. It's not a trash pad in a way, but it's the weakest pad I have. I can, of course, convert many of them to dark matter, but I always prioritize to, to do the best pads to dark matter, and then I make these to dark matter. But I will sell off the weakest pads that I have to earn some gold, and, and in, in, the, in, in over time, this will not give me a lot of gold in the beginning, but you can imagine when this is my weakest path, later on these ones here is going to be my weakest paths and I can then sell more and more expensive paths as my weakest paths the longer I continue to build up my uh, mini collection, right? So just build up your mini collection and over time you will earn so much gold that you never will be able to use them and when you earn really much gold later on you can start to buy uh, huge pets and a good uh, I actually recommend to try to get huge pets huge pets is the future if you really aim for the leaderboard the, the, this is of course you need one like a really good secret uh, minion but it is quite easy to get that, that yourself if you follow the guide that I have of course it's easier with game passes than without uh, game passes but number four is like I said earlier never ever sell any minions that you are using in your farming team you should never sell from farming team regardless how much people are offering for you but never do ever sell anything from your farming team and um, of course these other pets that is not the farming team you can sell them but I will not do that I will think long term uh, to to keep and stay on the leaderboard but it's also just that you stay on leaderboard you will stay strong if you don't sell there is no point having billions and billions of gold it's way better to try to get those huge yourself um, in the game right now but of course there's probably going to come some time now where we can't hatch any huge and and so on but still you can buy game passes in this game right so you can buy these game passes here from people with gold so that's a way to get gold of course but it's always I, I would say it's better to to farm yourself up with a good strong a farming team with a really good minions so that is what I really really recommend for for you I can just show you shortly how much I am getting getting at the moment if I put on a triple here and a triple damage you can see the income I have at the moment if I really want to increase this income I will be taking off maybe some of these ghosts and I will be putting on some of those pets that has really good farming um, uh, like here fire gems instead and that will uh, even increase the income that I have even more but remember there's a balance between the strength and the, uh, and, and um, the enchantment that you have so yeah it, well, I, I this was a lot of information but at least this is the strategy that I use to try to get on the top 100 leaderboard I used three weeks uh, now to get up to top 20 so it should also be possible for you to get there of course if you don't have any of the game passes in the game it will take longer time but it is still possible to get up there on the top 100 without game passes but it is extremely tough to do that without the extra minions that you can have so these two game passes here is tremendously good but also the ultra lock and lock game pass here is really important to get up there but also it's going to be difficult to compete if you don't have all of this extra 500 and 100 to 600 minion spaces here it's also going to be more difficult because of course it's all the minions in your inventory and having possibility to have 600 more minions in there makes it easier to get on the top 100 on the power board it's so maybe so stupid but that's just how it is in this game uh, games like this so yeah i hope this is a uh, some help for you this was number one game with that viper toffee like and subscribe and thank you and bye bye